Hey guys, TerribleAcon13 here with your Arms Day video for this week. So, let's see what Banshee has for us this week. Starting off, we have the Soros ARI-41 Auto Rifle. So, for sights, we have the SLO-19, the SPO-26 and the SPO-57. We have high caliber rounds, appended magazine, speed reload, rifle barrel and partial refund so not terrible i suppose i'm just going to go over the sights quickly here there you go and then we have perfect balance feather mag snapshot injection mode and range finder so that's a pretty good roll on shame but they hit to the range though and here we have Go back over the sights quickly for everyone. And now we have fitted stock, appended magazine, snapshot, reinforced barrel, and partial refund. So that one's an okay roll. None of them stand out amazingly in the archetype, ain't the best archetype in the world, but it just depends. If you're not too bothered about range, the perfect balance plus injection mode will give you great stability. This is, of course, for a PvP roll. Rangefinder then making up for the injection mode, so I would go for this one. That's a solid pick for PvP, even if the archetype ain't the strongest. So next up we have the ARI 45. So let's have a look, see, I'll just quickly go over the sights for you again. There you go. Now we have high caliber rounds, feather mag, snapshot, small bore, and counterbalance. Counterbalance is always a great thing to have on an auto rifle. Let's see what we have up next. Perfect balance, pended magazine, single point sling, injection mode, spray and play, and I forgot sight, so we'll go there quickly at the end. So not a bad roll, or counterbalance would be a preference for me anyway. So quickly sights. This one's looking good already from what I saw. We have fitted stock. Feather mag, single point sling, reinforced barrel, and counterbalance. You are the reinforced barrel sort of knocks stability, but you do have fitted stock to buff that up again. Plus counterbalance, I would go for this one again. With most auto rifles, it's going to be a PvP roll, so that would be your best bet out of those three for a half decent PvP roll, I suppose. So next up we have the Lud Miller D. So the first option has GA post, LC ranged, with surrounded, unflinching, snapshot, speed reload, and reinforced barrel. So, not terrible, but not great. Number two gives us SC hollow, add an LC range, with danger close, rodeo, high caliber rounds, speed reload, and reinforced barrel. Again, nothing too amazing on that one. And last up, we have GB Iron, LB Assault, with crowd control, unflinching, snapshot, speed reload, and reinforced barrel. To be honest, this is your best roll here, but I would probably just keep this package and hold on for a head seeker counterbalance, more stability roll on this one, because you really need to land headshots reliably with this gun so you're going to want something that busts your stability so if you have to pick one up pick option three but if not just hold it on till it till next week and next up we have the pdx 45 pulse so let's see what we have for rolls here sights we have the slo 19 the spo 28 and the spo 57 with high caliber rounds appended magazine hidden hand speed reload and reinforced barrel Option number two gives us SLO-19, SPO-28, SPO-57, Feather Mag, Perfect Balance, Full Auto, Speed Reload, and, re and Rifle Barrel, which is a damn near perfect roll. That is a damn fine roll on this gun. And next up, we have SLO-19, SPO-26, SRO41 with hammer forged, appended magazine, hidden hand, 
snapshot and injection mold so you have two options both good ones either you go with injection mold hidden hand and hammer forged or which would be my preference because this thing will burn people and I mean absolutely melt them in PvP is perfect balance full auto and a rifled barrel you will eat through your magazine but that will almost max out your stability of perfect balance that is a pretty much perfect roll there apart from a counterbalance high full stability roll but with full auto that makes this thing a laser beam of death so pick up option number two for pvp looks good and last but not least we have the good old soros jbl 42 rocket launcher because where would norms db without soros rocket launcher so aggressive launch soft launch hard launch single point sling speed reload vacuum perfect balance and quick draw next option gives us aggressive launch smart drift control hard launch single point sling flared magwell reactive reload javelin and snapshot and last but not least and probably the only one you would want to pick up after these is warhead veneers soft launch counter mass heavy payload flared magwell tracking javelin and snapshot for a PvE rocket launcher, it don't get much better than that. You've got your heavy payload, you've got your tracking, you have your javelin. Perfect. Bob's your uncle. If for some reason you didn't get a good enough roll on any of the Iron Banner ones, this is a solid PvE rocket launcher. So, option number three. Next week, we have the Hake Arminius D. We have the Source AR-45. The Soros JBL 42 again. Well, look, the Soros JBL 47, because when you don't need one, you need two rocket launchers. And the Haki Jingoku D shotgun. And for your test weapons this week, you have a fusion rifle that wants you to melt minotaurs. You have another fusion rifle that wants you to melt your fellow guardians. You have a hand cannon that would like you to shoot people in the face you have a pulse rifle that would also like you to shoot people in the face and you have a shotgun that would like you to fill your fellow guardians full of buckshot well guys that is your arms day video for this week i hope you've enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below what you will be picking up this week as always like and subscribe for more destiny content and until next time laters